Hi guys, it's Ben Heath from Lead Guru, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to find personal training clients with Facebook ads. We've worked with personal trainers and gyms who are offering personal training services before, and we found a way that works really well on Facebook to advertise your services to get you personal training clients if you are a personal trainer. So if you are a personal trainer, I think you'll find this video um, very, very useful. I'm gonna go through each stage in a lot of detail, so uh, pay close attention. Okay, so what I am now is I'm in Facebook Ads Manager. I'm in a demonstration account. So if you've never sort of seen what this looks like, you're thinking, what is Facebook Ads Manager? How does that work? When you're in your Facebook, uh, account, your regular personal account, there will be a little black downwards arrow on the top right hand side. If you click on that, um, in that drop down menu, there'll be something like manage adverts, create adverts, manage ads, create ads, something like that. Click on that and you'll come into a view, a window that looks similar to this. This is where you need to get to. Okay. Um, once you've done that, you want to go ahead and click create. You know, if you've just boosted posts from your Facebook page, for example, which is what most people start doing when they start advertising on Facebook, you won't have seen this sort of stuff. So that's why I just wanted to quickly cover that and show you exactly how to get there. So let's give this a name. So let's do with personal training, training, personal trainer campaign. Sounds a little bit better. Okay, I'm not going to cover all the options that you could use on Facebook. That's not beneficial. This video will be three hours long. What I'm going to do is show you exactly what we've done in the past that's worked well specifically for personal trainers. So buying type levers auction, campaign objective. You want to go ahead and use the lead generation objective. That's what works really well. With the lead gener objective, you keep people on Facebook as opposed to sending them through to your website. So if you don't have a website, which a lot of personal trainers don't, uh, that's not a problem. You can still use this strategy very effectively to get you new clients. Okay, ad set name. Let's just go with local area for now. Uh, create ad, I'm just gonna call this placeholder. Obviously you can rename those things, um, whatever you want later on. So click save to draft. And then what we're gonna do is come into the campaign level. Now there's three levels to a Facebook ad campaign when you create it in Ads Manager. You've got the campaign level, the ad set level, and the ad level. So in the campaign level, all we need to do really is set our buying type, which we've already done, our objective lead generation. And you can either use campaign budget optimization or not. In this example, we're only gonna be using one ad set, so it doesn't make a huge amount of difference either way. In terms of budget, what I'd recommend is setting your budget as something that is um, affordable and you could afford to lose, okay? Because whenever you're first launching a new marketing campaign, there's never any guarantees. Um, if you set your campaign up the way I'm about to show you, then I'm quite confident it will work, but there's never any guarantees. So just make sure that that is something that's, um, you know, that's not gonna cripple you if it doesn't work out. And also set it at something that, um, you know, isn't gonna generate so many leads that you can't handle the volume. So I would expect if you're advertising in a market like the UK, you to be able to generate leads, people interested in your personal training services for around about £10 each. It might be a little bit less than that. I think one of our clients was about £8. Um, it cost per lead for people interested in their personal training services. So just bear that in mind. If you want to spend £100 a day, you might be absolutely inundated and not be able to handle the volume. Okay, so that's the campaign level. Now we'll move on to the ad set level. Now, when it comes to advertising personal training services, advertising uh, any local business with Facebook advertising, it's relatively straightforward. So all of this stuff, by the way, guys, you can, can ignore. Just make sure that your Facebook page is, is selected in here. Um, you can set spending limits on this ad set if you want to make sure you don't spend too much. You can set uh, you know, start date, end date. I don't bother with that. I just run the campaigns. I check them regularly and I pause them or adjust them when they've reached certain points. But if you want to, that's absolutely fine. But whenever you're advertising for personal training services on, on Facebook or you're advertising a local business, the first thing you obviously need to do is set your location, location criteria because only people that are local to you are going to be interested in your services and actually going to you know want to work with you. So you obviously want to take out the country and you want to put in your specific local area. So I live in a town in the UK called um, Sirencester, relatively small town. And 25 miles is probably too much, to be honest. I probably want something like 15, maybe less. Now, of course, if you're in a big city, you might want to narrow that right down to just a couple miles if you're in the centre of London or, or whatever. Um, if you're really rural area, then you might want to make it a larger area. And, and you'll know based on where you live, where you operate, um, where you provide your services, what sort of area that you're going to want to uh, to go ahead and target. So, for example, I might decide that, you know, you know what, Gloucester's probably too far away because um, I know the area, 12 miles just excludes Gloucester. That's probably more appropriate. If I go down something like 10 miles, that leaves us with just 120,000 people, which actually might be, be more accurate. People aren't gonna be willing to travel. I don't wanna include Swindon in there. So 
Once you've added your location targeting criteria, as I've just done, you'll see your potential reach on this site. So I've got 120,000 people in here. That's not a massive audience, so I can't narrow this down too much. If you've got a larger population base where you're operating, then you can afford to add in more targeting criteria. So you may work with a specific demographic. So you may work with people that are older, for example. So you might say, look, I just want to work with people that are, I don't know, 45 plus. OK, and you can see that takes my audience size down to 52. I might want to leave that as is because I don't want to make my audience size much smaller than that. Um, you might only work with men. You might only work with women. Absolutely fine. Go ahead and add those in. If, for example, you had a much larger audience size, and I'll do this for example, uh, a much larger population base. So let's say I was in London, uh, 25 miles, don't gonna be way too much. Let's say I just wanted to be within, yeah, let's do, oh, let's say 10 miles. That's too big, you'd wanna narrow that down, but let's just use this as an example. You've got 1.8 million people that's still over 45. So let's say I only wanted to work with women over 45, that was my particular uh, demographic. Still got 900,000, I can still afford to narrow that down. So that's where this detailed targeting section comes in. So I might wanna add in things like fitness, people who are at physical fitness as an interest, that sounds like a good option. That makes me 334,000. So that could be an option to go with. Um, I could go with people that are you know, health conscious. What sort of targeting options have we got here? Interested in health care. Well, that's probably uh, health and wellness maybe. That gets us down to 99,000. So this sort of these sort of targeting options here aren't rocket science. I've created a whole video about how to use Facebook's audience insights tool to find these interest targeting options. So I'll include that in the video description. If you're confused about this process, you can go through that, take a look at that and, and, and basically find out exactly what it is that you need to do to find these options if you're a bit unsure. But you can come in here and you, you know you can add in these sorts of options, physical fitness, it's things that are going to be representative of your target audience. You know, if you want someone to work with a personal trainer, they're probably not in fantastic shape. Uh, they may be, but they're probably not. They probably want help, but they've probably got at least an interest in being in better shape in health and wellness and physical fitness, etc. So I could go ahead and add those two in, for example. By the way, just quickly, any that you add in here, it's an and function. So it's people who are interested. Sorry, it's an or function. So it's people who are interested in this or people who are interested in this. They don't have to be interested in both. OK, so you'll see if I take that out. Audience size is going to be slightly smaller. Remember, if you're in a much uh, lower population density area, you are going to have to um, you are going to have to narrow. You're going to have to not include interest targeting options because otherwise your audience is going to be too small. If I, you can just have a word for it, I won't go back and show you. If I put Siren Sester back in here, the audience size is going to be absolutely tiny. Okay, so. That you can leave as is, connection type, don't worry about that. Automatic placements, you can use automatic placements. Placements just refers to the places on Facebook and Instagram where your ads are likely to show up. Um, you can edit them and be specific and say, I don't want to advertise on Instagram, I don't want to advertise on Facebook, I don't want to advertise here and there. With the lead generation objective, that's not necessary. Because you're telling Facebook with the lead generation objective, look, I want leads, I want to generate leads, and Facebook now knows that. So they are going to be able to see where your leads are coming from in terms of placements. So they might see, for example, you know, you're generating leads on Instagram for $9 each, you're generating leads on Facebook for $15 each, okay, let's put more of your budget in, into Instagram. Facebook will be able to make those calculations, they'll be able to adjust your campaigns, and that's why it's absolutely fine to use automatic placements when you're using the lead generation objective. I hope that makes sense. Optimization for ad delivery and ad delivery, just leave that as is. No problem at all. So fairly straightforward really in this section. All you need to do is um, add in your location targeting criteria, specify your age, gender parameters based on who your target customer is, you know, whatever it is you specialize in. If you're in a really rural area and you want to work with everyone, you can leave that quite broad. And then maybe add in some detailed targeting criteria depending on the size, the, the population size within your area. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Now let's move on to the ad. So obviously a very important component of a Facebook ad. So Facebook have just pulled in an image um, from my, my Facebook page because that's what I'm using for this example. But the first thing we want to do is change that image. So you may have images of you working with clients and things like that. If you do, great. You can go ahead and upload those into here and use one of those. Um, if you don't, that's also fine. What you can do is you can select here on account images. You know, you might have images again on your Facebook page, within your ad account, within your Instagram account. You can use any of those in your ads if you like those. But I'm going to assume you don't have those. Um, I'm going to assume that uh, you need to find images to use. So if I come into here and I select stock photos as I've done, and I add in personal trainer in here, 
And what we're going to see is you can see over here, it says powered by Shutterstock. So Facebook have teamed up with um, Shutterstock and you can use any Shutterstock image in your ads for free. Absolutely fantastic feature, saves money on having to buy these images. But obviously you can go through these and find one that resonates with you and, and your uh, target market and you think is, you know, that's the sort of image I want to use. I could just, for example, use something along these lines, add that in, and then you've got the preview on the right-hand side, you can see that image there. So that might not be the right option and I can automatically crop that to square if I want, which is usually what I'd recommend because square images will take up more space on someone's Facebook newsfeed than a rectangular image, um, you know, because your device is obviously fixed on a, on a mobile device. So that's usually what I would, uh, your width is fixed on a mobile device. So that's what I would recommend. Okay, so decide on your image. If you can't decide between two or three, you can always create some more ads and test two or three ads at once. We do that all the time. You might find that one really performs well, a couple of others don't. And then you can pause those underperformers and put more budget into the best performing one. Very simple sort of optimization process, but uh, one that can deliver great results. Okay, next thing, we need to get into the headline. Now, before I do this, what I want to quickly talk about is what exactly we're going to be offering in this ad. Now, if you try and advertise your personal training services and basically say, hi, I'm a personal trainer, come and work with me, it's very unlikely to work. You know, that's just too big an ask. People don't know whether you're any good or not. Um, they might not be, you know, they don't have that proof. They don't want to sign up to a 10-week package or whatever it is that you offer. So that sort of approach is unlikely to work. What I like to do with all Facebook ads and with personal trainers as well is really reduce the barrier to entry for your customers on the front end. So how can we make it really easy for your prospects to try out your service? You can then demonstrate that it's a great service, that you really know what you're talking about, that you can get them great results. And then they can go on and book and become a full, fully fledged customer. So I really like to offer something free up front. And in a personal trainer's case, the most obvious thing to offer for free is a free personal training session. So what I'm gonna do is put that in the headline. Free personal training sessions. Boom. Now I can almost sort of hear you guys watching this and thinking, I can't offer free sessions. I'm going to be doing it all the time. Uh, you know, it's going to take up so much time. Um, these people aren't going to convert, etc., etc. There's lots of objections to it. We've worked with loads of companies where we offer something free up front. And provided you frame it right at the beginning. So let people know you only get one free session. You know, and that could even be a shortened session. So if you offer hour-long sessions, it could be a 30-minute one, for example. You get one free session, and after that, we can have a conversation about you becoming a fully-fledged customer of mine, and you can get them to sign up to a 10-week package or an ongoing you know, um, commitment or whatever it is. Make sure you state that up front. This is not just free sessions you're giving out to anyone. It's for people to be able to try out your services, see if they like them, and then go on from there. Now, of course, there are going to be some people that book a free session, and then don't go on to become customers. That's inevitable, that's just life. There's no way around that. Any business that offers a free consultation, a free discovery call, you know, I have, I offer free strategy sessions for my Facebook advertising services, and a, a percentage of those people that call don't go on to become customers. There's no way around that. That doesn't mean that this is not going to be an effective strategy, because it most likely, in, in my experience, this is going to work very well for you. Okay, so free personal training sessions is what we're going to offer. Now, we need the primary text. So we've got our image, we've got our um, headline. And just quickly, great thing about having a headline like this is it lets people know exactly what this ad is about. When someone's scrolling through their Facebook newsfeed or their Instagram feed, they're not sort of pouring over the ads and paying them a lot of attention. They are going to be, uh, their attention is gonna be grabbed by the image and by the headline. So you want them to know exactly what this is about as soon as they see it. So free personal training sessions with an image of obviously someone working out at the gym with someone helping them out, it's very clear what that is, this is an ad for free personal training sessions. What that means is that people within your target audience that have been thinking about, um, you know, oh, I really should get down the gym more, I need help, I don't know what I'm doing, maybe I should work with a personal trainer, and they just haven't got around to it, those are the people whose attention you're gonna grab. Because they're gonna go, oh, great, I can try out a free, you know, this guy or this girl for free and see if they're any good and, and look to work with them, and fantastic. That's gonna grab their attention, that's gonna get them to take action. Okay, so free personal training sessions as the headline. Then the primary text. So what I've done is I've prepared, I'm just gonna grab a Word document here, I've prepared some primary text in here 
And this is actually from a document I've created called the five part Facebook ad template, which you can download for free, by the way, guys. It just shows a bunch of different ads um, in a number of different industries. Some of the ads that we've created for our clients that deliver great results. So if you want to go ahead and download that, a link will be in the video description. So let's just quickly talk through this, um, this primary text up here. So right at the top, we've got free personal training session. Well, I want that to be sessions, free personal training sessions. That is obviously going to grab people's attention, just like with the headline, just like with the image. We're letting people know exactly what this ad is about. Um, ah, that's why I didn't have the uh, the S on, so we want to fit it on that one line. And it's going to grab their attention, all in capitals with asterisks. Now, Facebook can sometimes not like um, capitalization and repeated punctuation like these asterisks so this ad account maybe dis this ad may be disapproved it wasn't when we ran it we ran this exact copy it wasn't but if it is just take some of that out don't capitalize everything run it again you should be fine just so you're aware okay so that's the first thing we've got up front then we've got here ever used a personal trainer now that will help speak to people that haven't used a personal trainer before because that's obviously the main group that we want to advertise to most people that have used a personal trainer or are using one are going to keep working with their you know existing personal trainer whereas if we say ever used a personal trainer and someone's sort of going in their mind no i haven't actually that's going to help grab their attention you get them saying yes to this copy and they it helps them carry on and, and read on and, and focus on the rest of it right now we're offering free personal training sessions with one of our expert personal trainers um so you know that could be if it's just you that you could just say you know with with me instead but this is explaining what the offer is right now we're offering free personal training sessions we've capitalized free to really emphasize it you can't do that too much free personal training sessions with one of our expert personal trainers so that, there's a benefit there it's not just you're not having a free personal training session with any old person down the gym it's with an expert qualified personal trainer okay now is the time to commit to your fitness goals and one-to-one -one training with an expert will really help you get results. So we're just emphasizing the benefits of the service here. You know, I'm sure you'll appreciate this if you're a personal trainer, working with a professional is going to help you get better results than just doing it yourself. And that's what we're emphasizing in here. Look, we know you've been struggling with your fitness. We know you've been struggling with the motivation to get down the gym. We know you get there and you don't know what you're doing but we can help you. Expert help can help you get those results. So really emphasizing the benefits to your customers in this ad copy. And then we end with a call to action. Click the sign up button to secure your free personal training session. So we're telling them exactly what we want these people to do. Don't be shy about that. This is a great offer. This is something that people want. Free personal training session sounds amazing. So just tell them exactly what to do in that copy. Okay, so fairly straightforward. Feel free to use something very close to that uh, for your own business if you would like. Right, then we've got the description. So the description here is the part that goes underneath the um, headline. It won't appear in a mobile uh, newsfeed ad, which is what this preview is. But if I was to select a desktop newsfeed, you will see under here in a second. So in here, I just re I would emphasize and reiterate the action I want people to take. So I'd say click here to sign up for a free personal Training session, dot, dot, dot. And you'll see here, there you go. You can see that description under there. Completely optional, you can add it if you want, but I, that's what I like to do. I just like to um, reiterate the call to action and emphasize the action that I want people to take. Display link, you just want to put in your website. You can see it's fb.me here, but if I had personaltrainer.com, um, then it's going to pop that in there. You know, whatever it is that your website name is, if you have one. If not, you could even just use your, your name or your company name, it happens to be. Call to action button, I want to use sign up. There are other options, but I think in this case, they're signing up for a, a free personal training session. So that makes complete sense. And that's what I'm going to go ahead and use. Okay, you don't have to worry about uh, Facebook pixels or anything like that with this type of campaign, because instead of sending people to a website, you don't even need a website for this. We're going to keep them on Facebook and we're going to, when they click on this, present them with a lead form where they could submit their contact information, which will allow you to then follow up with these people and get their free session, their free um, personal training session booked in. Okay, so for that, we obviously need to create lead form. So create a lead form, new form, click next, right. So obviously just call this, you know, up here, whatever you want. So I could just do personal training form, something like that. Right, form type, I would start with more volume. This is a more sort of advanced uh, step to use higher intent and for personal trainers, I don't think it's necessary. So more volume. Intro, I would also turn that off. There's no need to have it. It's just this little bit of text up here. I don't think it helps. You can add in all sorts of information. 
But whenever it comes to anything, digital marketing, anything, Facebook advertising, you know, for personal trainers or anyone else, you want to make things as simple for your prospects as possible. Don't make them have to work something out. Make it easy, make it straightforward, and more people will be willing to take the action that you want them to take and able to do so. Okay? So then we need to come down into questions. So the first thing we need to do is do the headline. And again, with the headline, just tell people exactly what it is that you want them to do. Keep it very sim simple. So we could have sign up for your free personal training session by submitting your info below. Da, da, da. Very straightforward. So anyone who clicks on the ad, they are presented with this form here. You can see the preview on the right hand side, exactly what it looks like. And it's pretty straightforward. You know, they just need to um, sign up for their free personal training session by submitting their info. So they just need to fill out these contact forms, click next, and they're all good. They're all signed up. Okay, so the default that Facebook asks for is email and full name, which we want to gather. There's one other thing that we really, really want for personal trainers, very, very important, is you ask for their phone number. And that's because if you just ask for someone's email address and you follow up with them uh, via email and say, thanks for signing up for your free personal training session, when would you like to get that booked in? You will get a very low response rate. Emails are just too easy to ignore. Everyone's busy. It'll often end up in a spam folder, etc. But if you ask for their phone number, and you call those people as soon as they have, um, you know, as soon, well, not as soon, but let's say you check this once a day, and however many leads you've generated, you then call those people and then get them over the phone and then get them to book in their free session there and then, that's going to be much, much more effective. You're going to convert many, uh, a much higher percentage of your leads into people that actually book the personal training session, which obviously then will help you convert those people into becoming full, fully fledged customers. Um, by asking for a phone number. So whenever I'm creating a lead form, I always recommend people ask for a phone number. Um, it's well worth doing. You can ask for other pieces of information. I wouldn't recommend it. Again, as I've already mentioned, make this as easy as possible for people to submit. They can submit their email, their full name, and their phone number. Now, a really cool thing about Facebook lead forms is that Facebook often has this information already because it's associated with people's Facebook accounts. They already know what their email, full name, and phone number is. So often when people click on the ad, Facebook automatically fills this information here. They fill this um, this data out, and uh, they don't even need to input it themselves. They can just go ahead and click next, which is awesome. Okay, you need to have a privacy policy to run this type of Facebook ad campaign on Facebook. You're obviously collecting people's information. People want to know what you're going to be doing their information, especially for things like GDPR and all the sort of privacy stuff that's um, in the news nowadays. So hopefully you have a website and you have a privacy policy on your website, in which case just pop the link, uh, the link to the URL in there. Um, if not, then you're going to have to create one. There's no way around that. You could try putting in a different link, but if Facebook find out, um, they will suspend your ad account, which you don't want. So create a privacy policy, put it in there, and you'll be good to go. Okay, and then obviously you've got the thank you screen. So here you just want to customize what people see after they've submitted their information, after they've um, you know, sent you their details. So we've got thanks, you're all set. Um, your info has been sent to, you know, oh, I could be to Ben Heath. Well, you know, that's obviously my name, but whatever your name is, your name is Ben, ben Heath. Um, they will be in touch shortly to arrange your free personal training session. Now that just lets people know they should expect a call, they should expect an email follow up to get that session booked in. Okay, and then you have a, bunch, a few different options here, you can have view website. So if you've got a website, you can get them pop in the link there and they can go through click this button down here. Um, and check out your website might want to see more information testimonials things like that. That's fine. If you don't you could just do a call business and just pop in your phone number. Um, they may want to call you if you add this in very, very few people will actually call. Uh, but they might want to call you and get that session booked in straight away, in which case that's fine. Um, so those are basically two options. Download doesn't apply for, uh, you know, for this type of business here where you can... Um, you, that's more for when people are signing up for a lead magnet or something like that, and you can make it easy for people to actually go ahead and, uh, and download that. Okay, so once you've filled out all of that information, you just want to um, go ahead and click Finish, and then you want to... I'm going to close this down because... Um, I obviously don't have privacy policy and things like that, so I'm not going to run that this ad, and I'm not a personal trainer, so I'm not actually going to run this ad out of this demonstration account. But once you create your lead form, click publish, your campaign will take 30 minutes or so to get ready, and then you will be all good to go. So that's exactly how I would recommend you advertise your business 
as a personal trainer to get personal training clients. As I said, when we've run this before in the past, we've seen leads for, let's say, um, eight to 10 pounds each in the UK. You know, that's what, roughly $12, you know, yeah, 11, 12, $13, something like that each, which should be very, very profitable for you because as a personal trainer, each client, particularly if they stay with you for quite a long time, is worth quite a lot of money. So I think it can be very, very effective for these types of businesses. And uh, yeah, hopefully that video has been useful. Now, before you go, there's something I want to quickly mention, and that's my Facebook ads mastermind group. So it's a free Facebook group full of Facebook advertisers and people that are looking to get better results from Facebook advertising. Right now, there are more than seven and a half thousand members. It's growing all the time. It's a fantastic community. There's questions being asked, answered all the time. Uh, amazing community, loads of people willing to help you out, including me. So if you do want more support with your Facebook ads, you've got questions, you're wondering how does this work, go ahead and join that group. There will be a link in the video description and, um, and get involved. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I always appreciate that when people give videos a like. Comment below to let me know what you think of it. If you think it's useful, if you think there's things I missed out or ways it can be improved or you think it's great, let me know in the comments. Get involved. If you've got questions, pop them in the comments as well. And also don't forget to subscribe. So I release Facebook advertising related videos every single week. And if you want to uh, you know, get better results on Facebook, stay on top of that information. Make sure you don't miss out on the new videos that I release. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.